Shalom. Shalom, you sons and daughters of the Most High, Yahuwah. Greetings to you. Greetings to all mankind. Three, two, one. It's interesting how many people are socially wired to trash talk individuals of a certain skin tone. Yet when people of the same skin tone say things like Yah, Yahua, Yahawa, Yahua, Yahoa, or any variation, they receive immediate red carpet treatment from the same community. Strange, right? Similarly, when this group creates a Bible or commissions a translation, such as the Sefer by a Messianic Jew, Stephen Pigeon, And today I wanted to answer the question, what is the Et Sefer? The Et Sefer sets forth the set-apart name and set-apart identities in, in English transliterations because I will publish the name of the Yahuwah, Ascribe ye greatness unto our Elohim. Or the Bible version called the Scriptures by South African Dr. Costa, which influenced the Hallelujah Scriptures whose author is unknown, but attributed to Yahweh, there's a notable reception. Notwithstanding, the even less popular HIS Hebrew Israelite scripture based on the King James Version 1611 Bible gaslighting Exodus and slavery. Creator, the self existing one who always existed and always will exist. When we say Yehoshua, we're saying Yahweh is salvation. None of these other names or translations or transliterations mean those things. And when it comes to the name, it says we shall be saved when we call upon it. So it matters. Pretty nice book. Is an original names and places Bible. So in most, in the places where you see the name Egypt, they interpret it as Mizraim, which is what it was originally called, Mizraim. In the Torah, it's called Mitzrayim. Yeah, Mitzrayim. Yeah. Egypt, Egypt is not called Mitzrayim. Mm -hmm. Not at all. No, but... As an Egyptologist, yes. what was the native yeah, name? Yeah, Kemet or This Kaui is my question. Or, yeah. What was the native name of ancient Egypt? Kemet or Ta'wi or Ta'meri, Ta so it could be. Uh, it could be uh, so, but where is Mitzrayim? But some, some, but where is Mitzrayim in that? And what 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 does Mitzrayim has to do with Kemet or Ta'wi or Ta'meri? Just, just to give you the yeah, no, example, we could call it any of the uh, titles you said or the names or the appellations, except Mitzrayim, except Mitzrayim. Each book marketing a new updated name for God or including another unique selling point to draw intended audiences. Greetings and welcome to another edition of Sefer Moments. I'm Dr. Stephen Pigeon. When I take a look at the, at the writing in the Et Sefer, I find that uh, the Et Sefer sets out, of course, the sacred name differently than any other place you may have seen. Many of the texts that uh, are Hebrew roots texts will not give you the name, they give you a yod he bab uh, whether it be in Paleo-Hebrew or Hebrew or even in the uh, uh, English extrapolation of that. But it leaves the reader with the inability to be able to pronounce the sacred name, uh, the Tetragrammaton. And also, it leaves you with the inability to be able to determine the name for the Messiah. 
Now, I know a lot of people have, uh, have been through this sacred name debate and they feel used and abused. Most Masonic orders have been instrumental in creating, producing, reproducing, or reforming Bibles and commentaries. It's considered a noble and highly profitable occupation within the Purple Pyramid Club of religious revival and sales. But the point which we should realize is if you open the Bible you see something very very special on the third page over here you find the name of our Heavenly Father Yahuwah you clearly can see the four letters Yod Hey Wa Hey, the four letters Yod Hey Wa Hey. Because this is an official version of the Catholic picture Bible and I was so impressed so I had to share it with you you might know that you are not on the wrong path you are on the straight path by calling upon Yahuwah I had a dream that his name is Yahuwah the spirit came to me and said, now that you know my name, it's time for you to praise. You find the name of our heavenly father, Yahuwah. You get back to the Masonic fraternity of Freemasonry. Yeah. Their great symbol is G. You, you'll look at the, the star on the compass, which is a stylized star of David. In fact, they have the entire star of David in many Masonic temples. Why is that? Masonry is a study of Judaism and of the Kabbalah. Stated, Freemasonry is based on Judaism. Eliminate the teachings of Judaism from the Masonic ritual and what is left. Albert Pike said in his book Morals and Dogma that the, the Kabbalah is the very basis. Without the Kabbalah, we would not have the 33 rituals. You are on the straight path by calling upon Yahuwah. Most Masonic orders have been instrumental in creating, producing, reproducing, or reforming Bibles and commentaries. It's considered a noble and highly profitable occupation within the Purple Pyramid Club of religious revival and sales. Shalom. Greetings in the name of Yahuwah. Uh, their site. As long as you put Watchmen there, there's a link under the um, description of this video that um, that you can click on that'll take you to where you can purchase the Secret Bible. But that's the one I strongly recommend because I have a, a, a way where you can get a discount if you purchase the Secret Bible. You can purchase it through our site, Watchmen Reports. On that note, I hope this helped you um, to understand why I choose the Secret Bible. I'm going to say I love you. Shabbat Shalom. I'm going to say I love you. Shabbat Shalom. We will soon unpack all of this, including how the Bible, no typo, became the world's most printed, popular, best-selling book. <coughs> Not for profit, <coughs> but purely for charity, hope, and conversion. Exodus, myth. And the fourth being a hate. Yod Hey Uwa Hey. This is the name 
given to whom they call Moses. And to remember that, and to encourage you in your walk that uh, wherever, you know, wherever you are at, just know he is above uh, and is completely virtuous. Because what we see is despite him being all glorious, all transcendent, all of that, what's beautiful about the God of Israel, it's different to the, the God of the Platonists. And what it really influenced much of Christianity and Judaism is that, no, we see this with Moses. He wishes to reveal himself as well. Therefore, take heed to yourselves and to all the flock among which the Ruach HaKodesh has made you overseers to shepherd the assembly of Elohim, which he has purchased with his own blood. They will all become become the wrath. They have to feel the wrath of Yahuwah. This is a very important topic, right? Yahushua said, if you do not believe that I am He, you will die in your sins. He said that. So we must believe, right? We must believe in His divinity, who He is. He is not just the Son. He is not just the right hand of the Father. He is not just someone who looks like the Father. He is the Father in the flesh. In this with Zechariah, or they call him Zechariah, the I-A-H is actually the name Yah, uh, Zechariah chapter 12. What it really influenced much of Christianity and Judaism is that no, we see this with Moses, he wishes to reveal himself as well. In this with Zechariah, or they call him Zechariah, the I-A-H is actually the name Yah, uh, Zechariah chapter 12. What it really influenced much of Christianity and Judaism is that no, we see this with Moses, he wishes to reveal himself as well. Yod, hey, Ua, hey. This is the name given to whom they call Moses.